Hello Sagittarius, Sun, Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy between you and the person you're connecting with or will be connecting with. We have it safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Typically when I see this card, um, it's all about letting your guard down. It's all about making yourself open and receptive to something here. But let's see what's going on. We're going to focus on you first, Sag, and then we'll jump over to your person. How does Sagittarius currently view this relationship all right Sagittarius so we do have the page of pentacles we also have the three of cups and then we also have the nine of cups the three of cups wanted to come out again I switched the deck by accident but page of pentacles three of cups and then we also have the nine of cups there's somebody here that you're currently connecting with and it does kind of feel like it could very well be at the very beginning stages of a relationship that's brewing here between you and another person but Nonetheless, it just kind of looks like the more you get to know this person, the more you spend time with this person, the more you're starting to find yourself really liking this person in particular. A lot of you might even find out that you and this person just so happen to share a lot of things in common uh, with one another. But I feel like there's somebody here that you mesh very, very well with, somebody that you know you have a really good time with, uh, somebody that you're really starting to honestly develop emotions for. Like I said, Three of Cups can definitely insinuate the very beginning stages of a relationship relationship here between you and another person how does this person currently view this relationship with Sagittarius we have the lovers what do they want mm, this person man <laughs> you're dealing with somebody who's extremely cautious extremely cautious I feel like this person is trying to figure out what your true intentions are towards them yeah they're really trying to figure out like, okay, what does Sagittarius want with me? What are their intentions towards me? I got to be honest, Sag, it just kind of looks like you're going with the flow here. You know, you're really taking your time out to really get to know this person, um, you know, and just build a relationship with this person. Right now, I'm not necessarily getting any sort of indication from you just yet that this is somebody that you want to go off and run off into the sunset with. I just feel like you're really taking your time here, you know, as far as getting to know this person is concerned. I mean, so far, it's looking really good here, but I don't necessarily feel like you're in a rush by any means, you know, as far as like running in, off into the sunset uh, between you and this person by tomorrow. I just feel like you're really taking your time here. Um, but this person's really trying to figure out, like, what is your intentions um, towards them? Because if it's one thing that I will say about this person in particular is that they really do like you. Uh, they're really starting to develop emotions here for you. They really do want to build towards something meaningful here with you. The thing is, is that because they don't necessarily know what it is that you want with them, it is kind of causing this person to essentially feel like they could very well be wasting their time here with you. Okay. And again, we have to go based off of according to them and how they're kind of feeling about all this. But with the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles, this is somebody who's very, very cautious. This is somebody who's definitely looking out for themselves here. The last thing they want to do is sit here and waste their time with somebody who doesn't necessarily want what it is that they're actually looking for right now. You know, they're looking for something meaningful. They're not looking for a good old time. All right. That's one thing that I will say. So just kind of keep that in mind. Just kind of keep that in mind. How does Sagittarius feel? Okay. All righty. So we have Judgment, we also have the Nine of Pentacles, and then we also have the Justice card. Then we also have the Lovers with the Nine of Wands to the Three of Pentacles to the Ace of Cups. So when it comes down to how you're currently feeling, um, you know, again, I just kind of feel like a lot of you when it comes down to this specific person in particular, you're just really going with the flow here. It's almost in a sense where it's like, whatever happens, happens. Like if me and this person end up working out, then we do. If we don't, then we just don't, right? I just don't necessarily feel like you're trying to rush absolutely anything with this person in particular. I do feel like for the most part, you are somewhat open and receptive to taking things a step further with this person. And I say somewhat because you do have the nine of wands out here. So 
when it comes down to actually building towards a meaningful connection with this person in particular and entering that stage of, you know, a committed relationship, you're kind of on the fence about it. And it could have a lot to do with the simple fact that a lot of you might feel like you're not entirely ready uh, to go off and build towards a committed relationship with someone as of right now. And listen, it is what it is. It happens for some of you. What could definitely cause you to essentially feel slightly guarded towards the whole idea of jumping into a committed relationship with this person in particular, or just in general, could have a lot to do with, you know, maybe things of the past, to be completely honest. But one thing that I will say is that this person already has a rough idea of what it is that they want here with you. What they want is to build towards something meaningful, to work towards a committed relationship here. That's what this person wants. Now, they're still trying to figure out what it is that you want here. Um, you know, I, I kind of feel like, Saj, you're kind of looking at this entire situation like, you know what, whatever happens, happens. Like, if this is the person I'm supposed to be with, then it'll just happen naturally that way. But I'm not going to force anything, nor should you, nor should you. But you might even be looking at this person to the right of me like they're trying to force this upon you. A lot of you might even feel that way towards this person. You know, I think that a lot of you just want this entire situation between you and this person to just flow naturally. If it leads to that, then it does lead to that. But you don't want it to be forced upon you. You don't. All right, let's keep going. How does this person currently feel? Okay. So I definitely feel like there's a conversation happening here um, between you and this person. Because like I said, you're dealing with somebody who's really trying to figure out, all right, what do you want, Sag? You know, are you looking for something serious? Or are you not looking for something serious? Are you just here, you know, just to have a good old time with me? Or are you trying to build towards something more, you know, serious between the two of us? That's how they're looking at this entire situation. And like I said, you know, the thing is, is that this person, unfortunately for them, they've wasted a lot of their time and a lot of their energy towards the wrong person, the wrong people, and they just don't want to find themselves in that predicament again. Now, with the three of swords to the four of pentacles to the tower, something's going on on this person's end that's causing them to feel extremely disappointed and extremely let down. And I got to be honest, I feel like it does have a lot to do with you and how you're responding and reacting to this person. It's very obvious that... Your person's ready for the next step, and maybe you just need a little bit more time, right? Maybe you just need a little bit more time, and that's okay. But it just kind of looks like the two of you are just simply not on the same page as of right now, and that in itself is very discouraging to this person. Because I feel like this person, like, when it came down to you, Sagittarius, like, they genuinely did have high hopes. And the fact that, you know, maybe you're just not ready, or maybe you just need a little bit more time. It's very discouraging to this person, to be completely honest. You know, for some of you, you're not shutting the idea down. You know, as far as like one day, you guys going off and building towards something, um, you know, more serious between the two of you, but just not right now. Because it's pretty evident that you don't want to go off and establish a committed relationship with this person as of right now. You just don't want to do that. But it's not to say that, a month from now, you know, that, you know, it's going to remain that way, you know, because of course, a month from now, you know, a lot of you might start to feel like, you know what, I'm ready for a relationship. Let's go off and do this. But a lot of you just don't feel like you're at that stage right now where you're ready to kind of do all of that, you know. And like I said, it is very discouraging and heartbreaking uh, for this person in particular. You know, I feel like a lot of you also too, like, you don't want to lose this person, you don't because I feel like there's somebody that you mesh well with, there's somebody that you have a really good time with, you know, there's somebody that you feel really good about. However, what they currently want right now is just something that you're simply not ready for. A lot of you essentially feel like you still need some time to really focus on getting your life together, focusing on your overall independence way before you jump into any sort of committed relationship with anybody. And that's okay. You know, it is what it is. But what actions... So we have the Five of Swords, we also have the High Priestess, and then we also have the uh, Five of Swords. What actions will this person take? Wow. I gotta be honest, Saj, I don't feel like this is you. I feel like this is the person to the right of me that's really, that's really bummed out and really hurt because you're just not, you're just not on the same page. 
as them. You know, they're ready for something more meaningful. And the thing is, is that you're not, you know, a lot of you still really want to take this time out to focus on your overall independence and, you know, you're not ready for a committed relationship and that's okay. A lot of you feel like, you know, you're just not ready to kind of take things a step further here with this person. But I gotta be honest, I don't feel like this is you. There's somebody here that's suffering in silence. And I gotta be honest, I don't feel like this is you. I feel like this is, you know, the person that unfortunately is being extremely let down slash disappointed by you. And it has a lot to do with the simple fact that you guys are just not on the same page. What they're ready for, you're not necessarily ready for that just yet, you know? And at least you're being honest with this person. Um, at least you're being honest with this person. I feel like a lot of you know that by you being honest with this person, it could definitely lead to an ending here between you and this person to the point where you may not see this person again. But at least you're being honest with this person, even though it is really hurting them, to be completely honest, to, to hear all of this from you. But... We got somebody here who's really upset. We have somebody here who's really suffering in silence. Um, with the high priestess being out here, this is kind of like an, also like an overall energy of them essentially feeling like towards the very beginning of this relationship that you are probably not going to want to go off and build something more serious with them kind of feel like that was something that they were sensing in the very beginning of this relationship but they chose to ignore their intuition and continue to pursue you either which way then we also have the page of pentacles with the death card to the four of swords to the nine of pentacles so this is them moving into that place of acceptance that you're just not ready for what they're ready for and that's okay even though they're really hurt and upset over it now at the end of the day this entire situation, it is a learning experience for them. It's teaching them that, hey, listen, when your intuition tells you something, you might want to listen to it. And then on top of that, you know, just because you're not necessarily ready for what it is that they're ready for doesn't necessarily mean that they're not going to stumble across somebody who actually is ready for what they're ready for. Makes sense? So then there's that. But it kind of looks like things are coming to an end here between you and this person because, they're starting to realize that, you know what, Sagittarius is just not ready for what I'm ready for and it sucks and it hurts, but there's nothing I can do about it. I have to just accept it. Any advice? All right, so we have deception and then we also have getting to know each other and then we also have forgiving and learning. I feel like this is mainly acting as an advice for the person to the right of me that's getting let down and disappointed and keep in mind the roles can be reversed here. You know, this person's really disappointed and they're really upset and they're really mad because I feel like, you know, they really wanted something more meaningful to come out of this entire situation here between you and them. And because they're not necessarily getting what it is that they want, it is pissing them off. It is really upsetting them and it is really hurting them. But it's basically saying, hey, find it in your heart to basically forgive this person because just because Sagittarius, you're not necessarily ready for what it is that this person's ready for doesn't necessarily mean that they won't find somebody who is. All right. So that's what I have for you Sag. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Also too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, it is linked in the description box down below and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.